Oh, real quick, um, I, Yeah, I watched the movie. I thought it was pretty even-handed, um, and I feel bad for Ross. It really looks like, uh, you know, perhaps his Fourth Amendment rights were trampled on and things like that, and the agents were corrupt along the way. Um, but one thing that I found very curious in the movie, they, they mentioned that there could be more than one DPR administrator, and I always thought that it was going to be established that Ross was one of the DPR, but they took the defense by saying, no, he was never any one of them at all. And even the wire reporter was convinced because, yeah, Ross was one of the DPR, but maybe not the one that ordered the hit. And uh, Ross had on his uh, computer the journal and uh, the big coins from Silk Road, and when he was captured, he was actually logged on to Silk Road. So, gosh, this is probably not a fair question, but I'm just really curious. I just I still want to ask you anyway, uh, Lynn, do you, do you believe that Ross was never any one at all of the DPR administrators? Well, I'd like to see a fair trial where everything came out. There's a lot that we don't know. Uh, I do believe that my son is an idealistic, well-meaning, libertarian, totally nonviolent. I don't believe the murder for hire smear, which, by the way, was never charged in court or proven, convicted, is true at all. I think it was used against him. Um, I really don't know, you know. Um, I have been told that it's inconceivable that he would be the one and only DPR. It's like having Jeff Bezos sitting in with a hoodie on in a cafe running Amazon. And I do know that, um, you know, there, I have a lot of questions. Um, I do know that I feel that if we don't have fair trials in this country, which Ross did not have and many people don't have, um, we are not a free country. And I'm very concerned about it. I, um, there's nothing like being up close and personal to something to really get it. And I'm really alarmed about how we are losing our freedoms very rapidly. Um, I believe we're at a crossroads in history. You know, we've left the 20th century. We're careening into the digital age. And this case has many precedents that are, will determine how we live in the digital age. And you mentioned the Fourth Amendment. That's one of them, but not the only one. Most of the evidence was digital, very easily manipulated, faked, edited, changed, planted. And um, so it, it's an important case and it's an important appeal. And the courts are addressing this case and others that will determine, it will impact all of us. And we have to decide, are we gonna take that crossroads in the direction of innovation and freedom? Or are we gonna go towards government intrusion and expansion? That's really the choice we have right now. And um, so all, all of you, I'm sure, know that and are doing what you can. It's, it's really a crucial time in history. We probably have time for just one more question. Um,